One of the first things you learn when you start to fight this culture war or actually just get targeted uh, by somebody who's trying to force you to fight the culture war is you never apologize to SJWs. SJWs are not like normal people. They're not after a resolution. They're not after a compromise and getting back to friendship and normal. They're about going out for blood. If they see that you are weak, they're going to push even harder to try to destroy you, which they'll do anyway. So apologizing never does anything for you. And we are completely unapologetic here at the channel and with our content. We've got Deus Volt on Kickstarter right now, uh, which is going to be a second campaign for people who missed the original. All right, this is going to be the book of the year, guys. Uh, it has unapologetic Christian themes. It has unapologetic blood, guts, and violence. It's got everything you want and fun out of uh, the old school style of things before, you know, culture got watered down. If you liked Conan the Barbarian or if you liked John Carter of Mars, any of the old classics that would have gotten canceled today, Deus Volt is a return to form on that, and you will absolutely love it. I'll leave the link in the description below, and thank you everybody who's supported the book so far. Uh, we just ran off the print run, so these will be coming out very soon. All right. What I'm going to get to today and what this is about is actually about the rapper DaBaby. And DaBaby made some comments which are pretty innocuous. He was just kind of messing around on stage and was like, hey, thank you to everybody who didn't, you know, bring AIDS into the festival. <laughs> I think he said something like that. And uh, very funny. I mean, he's just, just screwing around. Uh, and he also uh, mentioned uh, a secondary one about uh, uh, some dudes, uh, you know, thank you for not, uh, you know, uh, sucking dick in the parking lot or something like that. You know, it's just something that you might hear a rapper say. Uh, rappers are pretty, uh, what's the word? Uh, not exactly the cleanest of lyrics for the most part. And so uh, you you get that sort of content from them all the time. It's something you expect. And you expect somebody to be kind of edgy and over the top and, and like that. That is That is kind of the rap game in a nutshell. I guess it's okay when you're talking about... Uh, you know, abusing women, basically, or doing drugs all the time and violating laws, that's fine. But you make a comment uh, about AIDS, uh, and uh, you get canceled. Now, those aren't even that uh, interesting of, quote, homophobic comments, uh, really, to draw anybody's attention. But uh, this lady, Dua Lipa, who's a big pop star, decided to try to cancel DaBaby because of that. And because of the, and then it just spiraled into more. Now, DaBaby made a huge mistake. Instead of just owning it and being like, I'm a badass and nobody can tell me what to say, which would have really given him even more street cred, he pulled the opposite and put this corporate statement out. And this goes to show, and this teaches you, that these people at this level of entertainment and corporate culture are just managed. They all have the same thing. There's no diversity of thought. There's no diversity of anything. It's just the same gobbledygook that gets spewed out over and over again. Uh, and they trick the public into thinking that they're badass or that they're gangsters or whatever when they're nothing of the sort. And uh, here we go. I want to apologize to the LGBTQ plus community for the hurtful and triggering triggering. <laughs> If you listen to one of his rap albums, I mean, all he does is try to trigger people. It's insane. Comments I made. Again, I apologize for my misinformed comments about HIV AIDS. And I know education on this is important. Love to all. God bless. Wow. About as uh, gay as a comment as you could have possibly made. <laughs> Now, did it do any good for his career? Absolutely not. Here we go. Uh, DaBaby has been dropped from three music festivals now because of this, uh, and his apology was not enough. He, we must do better. And this is exactly what I'm trying to warn about at the beginning of this video. SJWs do not care. They don't want your apology. They just want you dead. And once they've identified that you had any sort of thought that's wrong, they know that your brain does not work on the level of the SJW, and they're going to try to destroy you anyway. You cannot ever get around it. You cannot ever get back into their good graces. It's just going to be one thing after another. And uh, as of this morning, I heard there was a second apology given by DaBaby, so he still has not learned his lesson in this. He's still listening to the idiotic management who's trying to push him down this, uh, you know, globo homo route where he can't say what he wants at all. And it's uh, it's really sad. The Lollapalooza, Governor's Ball, and Day in Vegas have now condemned him for his comments. And, uh, you know, there is no forgiveness for the SJW because they are all satanic people who are devoid of God. And that's it. Uh, never apologize. That's the entire message.
that. <laughs> Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.